There used to be hundreds of thousands of cheetahs a couple hundred years ago, and now there's so few of them. Today, female cheetah Demisi, along with four others, will be artificially inseminated as part of the Columbus Zoo's behind the scenes breeding program. Of all of our cheetahs that we're artificially inseminating, I want Misi to have cubs more than anybody because I would love for that precious personality to continue on and on and on. She looks like a little football player. She does, a little bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tongue. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, she's got a nice little tongue that sticks out. Don't you? Don't you? Oh, what is this? In the wild, cheetah gene pools are in crisis. They are experiencing genetic bottlenecking, which means they have very little variation in their genetics, which could lead to their extinction. People have no idea that cheetahs are the most endangered big cat in Africa. They don't realize their numbers are less than 7,000. There used to be hundreds of thousands of cheetahs a couple hundred years ago, and now there are so few of them. If breeding in zoos didn't happen, um, this species wouldn't be around for people to see and learn about. The last time artificial insemination was successful anywhere in the world was 15 years ago. Recent advances in AI technology has the Columbus Zoo and now Demisi on the cutting edge. In the past, we knew when we successfully artificially inseminated a female, we typically only got one cup. And that doesn't work well with cheetahs. It's the only cat species that will not raise a single cub. So what we think we fine-tuned here is the producing of more than one cub. Gonna go get it? We want to get her out, let her have a little bit of fun, a little bit of exercise, because once she has the procedure, she's not going to be able to go out in the yard for a couple of days. Do you want the ball? Do you want to get it? Go get it. <laughs> this is the sweetest cat of all the cheetahs I've raised, bar none. And I don't know if it's because of everything she went through. Demisi was rescued as a newborn and hand raised by Susie. It's your mom. <laughs> Her legs were deformed. She had metabolic bone disease, but she never gave up. There was no way I was going to give up on her. 